The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a leader who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes, where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask the Spirit for the grace that we will be able to hear what we ought to hear, to see what we ought to see, that we might do what we ought to do in Jesus' name. The first reading speaks of our need for the Spirit because the Spirit of God is not the spirit of timidity but of boldness. Boldness. Now, not being boastful, but being courageous is na enough to speak of what is true. Ano yung totoo? Pagkamisan, kung hindi man madalas, mas marami sa atin ang parabagang kumbinsidong kumbinsido sa kanilang mga sinasabi na hindi naman nila tinatanong, totoo ba ito o hindi? My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, the opposite is in the gospel. Nicodemus came to Jesus at night because he was afraid, not afraid of Jesus, but what people might say to him. Hindi siya natatakot kay Jesus. Natatakot siya kung anong sasabihin ng ibang tao sa kanya. Being a Pharisee, being a leader, where your, where your colleagues chastise the very man you're talking tonight. But what is the invitation? What is the invitation? Unless you are born from above. One time, I had a meeting in Tectite building. I, I, I guess you know where it is in Ortigas. We are in the top floor. Ano po? I was wondering if it was already the penthouse, but I think it was not. But it was in the top. And while waiting for somebody, I, 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 I approached the window. I mean, the, the walls are made of glasses, so you can see around something. Iba yung nasa'y taas ka. Ano po? Iba yung nasa'y taas. Yung iba nalulula pag ikaw ay nasa'y taas. Pero pag tinignan mo, ang ganda. Ano po? You can see. 
And when I looked down, there was traffic downstairs. May traffic, nagkakagulo yung mga sasakyan, baradong barado. Dahil lang sa isang sasakyan na nakabalagbag. Ano pa? Wala sa lane. Tapos sabi mo lang, alam kaya nitong sasakyan itong nakabalagbag na ang dami niyang inaabala ang haba ng traffic? And the simple answer may be, no. No. Why? Because you don't see it from above. You don't see it from a wider perspective. Pagka misan ganun tayo, ano po? Why God invites us to look things in a heavenly perspective so that you can see things better and decide in a better way? You distance yourself. Pag masyadong malapit, malabo. Pag masyadong malapit, kung ano lang malapit sa mata, yun lang ang nakikita mo. You distance yourself. You, you, you allow yourselves to see the perspective, a wider perspective. The opposite of it is what we call myopic. Myopic, makitid ang paningin. At dahil makitid ang paningin, makitid ang pananaw. O kung ano man ang nauna. Kung makitid ang pananaw, makitid ang paningin. Myopic. We must increase and widen our perspective so, can, so we can decide well. Sometimes being able to see things in a heavenly perspective, you can even recognize that your wounds, your wounds, are a stepping stone that makes you a better person. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, hindi naman talaga lahat ng problema ay problema. Hindi naman lahat ng problema ay problema. Kailangan mo lang makita o magkaroon ng mas malawak na pananaw. Try to look into yourself. According to the perspective of God. But you can only do it if you will give yourself to God. Unless you are born from above. You allow and embrace the Spirit of God who gives you the boldness, not of timidity. Amen. Our communion every day never stops. We have the communion outside the Mass every day, Monday to Sunday, 10 to 11 in the morning. Ano po? Hindi po yan tumigil. Ha? Ang akin pong patuloy na pasasalamat sa mga taong walang humpay, walang tigil sa kailang pagtulong sa ating parokya for their for your love offerings and for our for our apostolate isang kanin isang ulam maraming 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 salamat po ano po ang Dios na wa sumukli sa inyo <clears throat> next sunday the third sunday of the month we will be praying for the intentions of all couples celebrating their wedding anniversary for this month ano po? Huwag kakalimutan yun. First Sunday, birthday. Second Sunday, mga bata. Third Sunday, wedding anniversaries. And the fourth Sunday, as I always say, we pray in, in our masses, the repose of the souls of all our departed brothers and sisters. Hindi lang yung birthday, hindi lang yung kung kailan namatay. Ano pa? So you keep the list of your departed. So, as we pray for them, and I will ask you to remember their names and read their names during the Mass or before the final blessing. Somebody asked, Bakit ka parang palagi malungkot, Father? Alam nyo, parang yung ating Facebook ngayon, obituaries na lang. Ano? Titingnan mo na lang kung sino ang namatay, sino ang nagpalit ng profile, ha? Kailan kaya matitigil ito? Malungkot na malungkot dahil 
one of our psychometrician in the seminary lost a father due to COVID because they cannot find a hospital to admit her father. Ano? Ang hirap nung ganun, no? Can you imagine the stress, the tension? Ha? Naipasok sa hospital sa labas ng Maynila. Namatay din kasi wala naman daw gamot. Hindi ko alam kung ano nangyari. Ano pa. Anyway, please ingat po palagi. Ano pa. Hindi ko alam kung mahirap intindihin yung ingat palagi. May virus pa. Stay safe, stay at home, save lives. Going back to what I've said, my brothers and sisters, sometimes we need a heavenly perspective so that we will be able to see things in the way God sees it. Mas malawak, mas malapad compared to being myopic. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.